Hello everyone. In this INR number 63, we are going to discuss about juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma. Right. So what is juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma? It is a tumor of young adolescent males and almost always they are young adolescent male only. Right. So ranging from the 10 to 20 years of the age group predominantly. Right. And what is the origin of this tumor? Origin of this tumor is sphenopalatine foramen. Right. So sphenopalatine foramen will be the origin of this tumor and mostly from the superior margin of the sphenopalatine foramen. And these tumors are highly vascular tumor. Remember, these are highly vascular tumor. So whenever we are doing the surgery, they will be having high risk of bleeding. Right. So bleeding at the time of surgery is high and this bleeding is high. Why it is high? Because of the internal maxillary artery right so most commonly this blood supply these small small blood vessel we are seeing these are the internal maxillary artery which is a branch of external carotid artery so now you can see that vascularity of the tumor you can correlate by seeing the endoscopic finding so if you look at the endoscopic finding this is the middle turbinate in the middle turbinate you can see the tumor mass is hanging from here and in this tumor mass, you can see there is a lot of vascularity. So this is why we are saying highly vascular tumor. And this vascularity is a internal maxillary artery, which is a branch of external carotid artery. So that is why, because they are highly vascular, so you will never do the biopsy. So no biopsy from here. So that is why biopsy is contraindicated because of risk of the bleeding. right? And what will be the clinical finding? Clinical finding most common presentation in this patient will be severe recurrent epistaxis. Remember, so this is the most common presentation severe recurrent epistaxis in a young adolescent patient. You can think of juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma, right? So they will be having nasal obstruction. So because of this, you can see they will have frog face deformity. What is frog face deformity? The tumor will be extending out of the nose with broadening of the nasal bridge. So you can see tumor mass is coming out and you can see there is a broadening of the nasal bridge. So this is why it is showing you a frog face appearance, right? So they will be having nasal obstruction, hyponasal speech, where they will be having difficulty in saying M, N or N, right? So these are the pronunciation which will be difficult for them to speak. That is why hyponasal or denasal speech will be present. They may have hyposmia or anosmia. Frog face deformity already I have explained you. And CE CT scan, contrast enhanced CT scan is the gold standard or investigation of choice. When you will see the tumor uh, gross examination, remember, because angiofibroma, if you look at the name angiofibroma, fibroma means fibrous tissue. Right, angio means blood vessel. So that is why if you look at the look at the tumor mass, you can see fibrous tissue will be whitish. Right. So you can see whitish mass is present. And in between somewhere you can see brown color because of the bleeding because they have blood component. Right. So somewhere they are having bleeding also. So they will be having large fibrous polypoidal mass and they are whitish and at some places brownish specks because of the bleeding. So when you will see the microscopic examination, as I said, these are angiofibroma. So you are going to see multiple different variable shapes and sizes of the blood vessel. All these are blood vessels, right? So all these are blood vessels. So multiple shapes and sizes of the blood vessel and so much and all these whitish area, all this pink area we are seeing is the fibrous tissue. Right. Or you can say collagen. All these spindle fibers are the collagen. And in this, in this collagen, you can see there is a blood vessel. So we will say that multiple variable size blood vessels in a collagenized stroma. Collagenized stroma means fibrous stroma. So you can see this fibrous tissue is the fibrous stroma. And in between them, there is a variable shapes and sizes of the blood vessel. That means angiofibroma. See the name angio. Angio means blood vessel. Fibroma means collagen deposition, right? So that is why we are going to see two components in the biopsy, blood vessel and fibrous stroma, right? CE, CT scan, we will have two important findings which examiner ask in exam. This is the another important PYQ. Holman-Miller sign, Holman-Miller sign or antral sign. What is Holman-Miller or antral sign? Bowing of the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus. So you can see bowing of the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus is called as Holman Miller sign or antral sign. You can see from the lateral view also you can see bowing of the 
posterior wall of the maxillary sinus that will be the Holman Miller sign. Second is the Hondusa sign. Hondusa sign is the widening of the gap between ramus of mandible and maxillary body. So between this you can see there is a widening right. So you can see there is a widening of ramus and a widening of gap between ramus of mandible and maxillary body. So why there is a widening? Because tumor mass is coming across this right. So that is suggestive of infratemporal fossa involvement by tumor mass right. So that is Hondusa sign. That is the importance of Hondusa sign. They will be suggesting about involvement of infratemporal fossa by the tumor mass. So now uh, sessions, Radkowski or fish classification is used for the staging of this nasopharyngeal adenocarcinoma. And what should be the treatment? So first, as I said, they are highly vascular tumor. You remember that highly vascular tumor. So pre-operatively, before you do the surgery, you will you have to reduce the vascularity. How we can reduce the vascularity by embolization of the feeding blood vessel. So you remember that maxillary artery, which is a branch of external carotid artery, we have to embolize and we have to reduce the vascularity. So post embolization surgical resection. This is the treatment of choice of juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma. Post embolization surgical resection is the treatment of choice for juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma and in this patient recurrences are very common because they are vascular tumor right so that is why they will again grow so recurrences will be common in this patient so this homer sign that uh, holman miller sign or antral sign has been asked in exams very often so please remember this image also and this sign also and this can be the future question also hondusa sign right so just remember all these important points uh, best wishes for your exam and you can expect this question in your FMG and NEET PG exam.